don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to see new videos released whenever they are released and to see live streams whenever they are released. So like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell. Today we are going to be doing, not these, sorry, not wrong way, we will be doing the Union Pacific Auxiliary Water Tenders for the Heritage Steam Group today. Um, I will be doing this this one here, and I'll be doing this one. The reason I won't be doing this one is because it's the exact same as that one. I'll just show how to make the flag, but I will be making the gas turbine, uh, the G GETLs. They used to, most of them had the this kind, but this is also the original of them. And fun fact, both of these two water tenders are, they actually used to be, um, one of them is 814, which used to be on, I think, Union Pacific 814 before they gave it the newer tender. And then, which 814 is on display in Iowa somewhere. And then this one is, I think, 809. I don't know. I think I'm getting them mixed up, but both of these are either 814 or 809. Both originally used on FEF-1s, I think. So FEF-1s like 484 one like the northern type. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the build. So I'm going to go ahead and get the blocks that you're going to need, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, we're back. We're going to go ahead and start out. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take out black terracotta. You don't have to use black terracotta. You can use any block that you want that would fit the theme of a wheel. So we're going to want to do is place one black terracotta there. Skip two, one there. And you're going to skip one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, fun fact, these are actually the same size as my normal centipede tenders that I have on my 3985 and my 844 and Big Bull and the 4014. So. So this we should have, you should have three, six, nine, twelve. <laughs> I said six, nine in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um, then you're gonna want to take out spruce fence gate. You place one there. The this uh, bogey design, the truck design, will be the same for all the variations from these, from this one to these two. These two are the ones that you'll see because they no longer use that design. They actually have one of those left, but it's just rotting away in the by the roundhouse so then take out a hopper place one on each wheel sorry I went too fast there take out your birch fence you'll place it in between each wheel with the two block spacing uh, I like to think of this as like air hoses maybe I don't know if they have sanders on all the cars but like air hoses Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I think these were used on original FEFs. I, I was just getting confused. Just go through like the history of it stuff. I don't know if they have any history of about, about the uh, water tenders. But anyways, take out your polished diorite slab. Or quartz, but I'm using polish today. You could also use birch, but take out... Oh, actually, I put two in there. I don't know why I was crouching. bit of parkour action there okay and then take more polished diorite slab or take your diorite slab whatever block you're using slap it in there then actually get out like gray concrete and then do this just to put them on the top. Then take polished diorite stairs and place it upside down like this. Now, you could do it like this next. Really, you're gonna wanna take slabs and you're just gonna wanna place slabs here like this. You should do that on every one of them. But if you want, I guess, you could do this, but I'm not doing that, I'm doing this way, so. So yeah, so just take slabs and, oops, place them above each of them like this just give it more of like a three-dimensional almost kind of look okay now just get rid of all those blocks um, you're gonna next want to get out yellow concrete oak wood stairs like gray concrete 
uh, stone stairs, stone slab, uh, dark oak fence gate, dark oak fence, birch fence gate, and we'll get out dark oak wood slab for the coupler. And then you're also going to want to have junk oak trap door and iron bars and a button, blackstone button and wither skeleton skulls and carpet and acacia button, more hoppers, everything you see on this model. Okay. So now if we go here, take out light gray concrete, slap it like that, and I think it's the same down the middle. Okay. Let's fill the whole base up. And I hope that I remember to un to unmute my mic if I have to mute it. Okay. So then, take stone slab. Okay, I don't know what's like that. Okay, take stone slab, like that. And then flip, and then do, and then you put a slab there, and then flip it upside down. Uh, stair there, stone stair, and then take out birch fence gate and slap and slap it there, and open it up. This will be like a like a ladder thing that, or like a step thing to get on. And then do the same thing over here. Oh, also. Don't forget your dark oak slab as the train coupler. You're also going to want to have that on the other side. And I think, yeah. Also take out dark oak fence gate. These are supposed to be like air hoses. And I think ways for piping for the water from the auxiliary water tender to go to the uh, engine. Or the engine's tender. So this is what you should have as the base. Um, you can go ahead and get rid of that uh, dark oak trapdoor. You're not going to need it actually for the whole build. Um, we'll actually go ahead and get out iron bar. Okay, next you're going to want to take yellow concrete and fill it up here. Like so. You actually don't have to fill up the middle there. You can leave that hollow. And then take stone stairs that are upside down. Put them there other side put in there now these auxiliary water tenders they're not perfectly rectangled they are curved but at the ends they have like some weird like the, it goes in like a slope shape like it goes from being flat on one side like that but then on the other side it ends up like on one side it's flat like that but on the other side it kind of has like a weird curve curvature thing almost like a tank it's kind of weird but i don't really put that in there because i didn't feel like it so we, but let's just continue Next, take out oak wood stairs, slap them there, and get rid of one of them in the middle. Same on here. Leave a gap spacing in the middle. Then, take yellow concrete and go one, two, three, and then place stone stairs up there. You want to do this on the same exact thing on the other side. So weird. I can't. You guys, it's so weird when I watch my things and I can hear my controller doing the thing. Okay. Next, take yellow concrete and fill in the sides. The only downside about these cars is that they're super tall and they look pretty weird like as you can see that one there behind pat with the passenger cars because the passenger cars are a bit smaller in height i think that's how they're supposed to be so but they they look just perfectly fine behind the tender um then fill in the whole thing with stone slab we'll do all the top details later you don't have to use stone slab, but it works better. I actually remember my other auxiliary water tender design, water tender design that I have. It's actually not that bad. I think it's actually a bit different. I think the only difference is that it's uh, the truck design. I didn't use that. I used a different design. Okay. Take birch fence gate. 
put them there and then open them all this will be like the just like the ladder to get up and then take oh I don't want to forget this take stone stairs and stone slab this will be for the uh, handbrake um, then I'm gonna put that there so I can get it back take jungle trapdoor and put it there this will be like the little handbrake for them to break the train manually then take iron bars do one and then go one two yeah and then do that put a dark oak fence there and then a fence gate there then I will do the headlight last uh, let's actually go on the other side. Do you want to do the exact same thing on the other side minus the um, uh, handbrake? Kind of clicking a bit too fast. Then you do this, and where the handbrake would be there, just place it all there like that. I'm just clearing my inventory so I can re get the next blocks. Uh, then you want to get all these blocks. And we'll go ahead and get out the blocks that you're going to need on the top. Um, I'll get the rest of them later. Okay. Then take red terracotta, place it there. I think that'd be where the number of the car would be on the front. So. And then you want to take... So you want to take the stone stairs with the oak trapdoor on the bottom. And then place item frame and then snowball there. You could also use the custom skulls generator if you also have that oh, also don't forget the thing there too okay so you should have something like that then take out your lighter concrete stone stairs stone slab polished black stone button skeleton skull and light gray carpet okay we're gonna do the handrails so every so you want to do you want to make you want to break it two one no wait here so you want it to be something where it's like two one two one one this is so hard guys here just follow along with me Yeah, you want it to look like it's all even. So it'd be like two blocks. It'd be two. And this would equal two blocks. Two blocks. It'd equal two blocks here. Two blocks. You get it. The same thing on the other side. I really hope I'm not live streaming right now. Because I know I'm making a clip. But I hope I actually ended the live stream. That'd be pretty embarrassing if I'm still streaming. Okay, this is what you should have. Then take like your carpet and this will be the handrail handrail. I don't know. I was gonna Most of my inspiration from the past comes from Crafty Fox, as you guys all know. But I probably if I did my old design I could use the fences, but I just want to do something different. Okay. Next. Take stone slab, place it there. Place one there. And place one there. Push the polished black stone button on each one. Take stone stairs like this. These are the water hatches up here. Same thing that the big, same thing that the centipede tenders on the 3985, 844, 844 and 4014 have, or the 4014. Then cut three blocks there, and then place. Gray con like gray concrete in there and then place stone slab on top I don't know what these are I think there's just these are just toolboxes okay then take stone stairs like that skeleton skull like this these are just some external pipe things or something okay this is how the tent this is what it should look like for now I gotta do the underbody part before I finish before I forget Okay, so you want 
we're gonna call this Andy. No, we'll just call it Andesite. Andesite wall, stone stairs. So Andesite wall, stone stairs, hopper, iron trap door, stone slab. Stick stone slab right there in the middle. No, wait. Like this. this is some like sort of like air pump. No, like I think it's part of like the air brakes. You just want to follow along. Okay, there. Now I think it's done. Just double check. Yeah, it should be done now. This is the base design for the for the current auxiliary auxiliary water tenders. So I'm going to show you how to make the generic one with just the Union Pacific lettering. So you want to do is you want to go over here. And you want to go three blocks away, and you want to do one, two, three, four, five. Skip one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This should say, this would really spell it Union Pacific perfectly, because it'd be U N I O N P A C I F I C, Union Pacific. And then just take three of them. Even better, it's all even, so it's not going to do the same thing on the other side. Oh, this here would be like the wording. Okay, so this is really, this is it for the auxiliary tender, but I'm going to show you how to do that one. And then I'm going to do a thing where I had to mod this one. Like I always usually say, I'm not going to build this whole thing over again. I'm actually just going to take this base design and show you how to cut it out like that. So to do the flag, it's the same flag that I did on my uh, ES44 AC1. Did I get them all? We'll get out yellow concrete. Okay. So, you want to get rid of all these, all the other buttons except those two. I actually just showed on one side how to do the flag and on the other side how to do the. But I do believe that the flag actually isn't a paint. I don't think it's painted on. I think it's like a big sheet of metal that they clipped on there. But, day. So with the flag, you want to cut out five, uh, and five over here. The flag is going to be mirrored, so it's not going to be like uh, reverse. So it's going to be like the blue would be on that side. You go on this side to be on this side. It's going to it's supposed to be like I don't know. You you guys get it. Okay, so to do the flag, that's what you want to do. This is like the only complex 3D thing that I'm going to do actually on any of my builds. Okay, and then you want to go in here. Make sure that that's in there. So that's why. It's not supposed to be 3D, it's supposed to be like... Um, you Those of you that know Minecraft a lot, you, you guys basically get what I mean. So just follow along with me, because I'm stopping in between. Sorry if I'm making you, sorry if I'm making you nauseous. Okay. It's kind of hard to make an American flag like this. I think it's another red terracotta down there. So these would these would usually run behind Union Pacific's um, heritage steam. Okay, and then take out. Can't put, I can't put 50, so there's just going to be two. Oh, well. Huh. Okay, it's and then you're just going to copy the exact same flag on the other side. So, yeah, you just copy the exact same flag on the other side. Um, so, how you'd copy it, you wouldn't copy it this way. You would copy it this way. You guys get what I mean. So, you would just take this flag and just move it back here. That's exactly how the flag would be like on this side. So it's like, it's weird. It's like the blue is on this side. The other parts are on this side. Okay, now I'm actually going to show you how to model off the other one. Let me clear out all this excess junk. So the other one was originally used on gas turbines. Um, 
they even had a Union Pacific coal turbine, which I could do tutorial on, but that thing's gonna be a big one. Okay. So to model it, basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna just see how this one looks. Um, I'll actually construct this one this time to help you guys out. Um, so you just screw it. I'm going to do it like this. Okay, so starting off on the bottom. You're going to want to make sure that this isn't the same color. I think those... Uh, wait a minute. Okay, I think these, uh, the discolorations actually, like, circled. I think it's, like, where they'd fill up the water in it. So, let's make sure that it's not yellow behind this. And then, they do the same thing on the other side. Okay, get rid of this too. Then you're gonna want to clear everything off. Uh, actually, okay, keep the handbrake. The handbrake can stay. I think everything else has to go. I think that, okay, I don't know why that happened. Let me look. Okay, yeah, this would also be changed. Okay, then to convert it, you're gonna want to strip off it like this. Okay, let's get rid of this carpet thing up here. So I think that's how I did it. Yes, okay. Oh, it looks like we still need that. Then take... Oh, I thought my mic was muted there for a second. Because I could look like I could see that the mic thing was up, but it wasn't. Okay, so you want to do something like this. Um, you're also going to want to clear out everything on the top except for that middle thing there. Or you're also going to want to clear out this stone here because it's like a different material that they used. Oops. Okay, let's actually get out that material. It's actually stone bricks. Okay, there's only one headlight on one side, which I don't know why. And there's also... Uh, it's just weird how they did this. I don't know why they did it like this. Okay, now let's go on back to this side. I'm sorry, guys, if it's making it confusing. I'm trying not to. So then, oh my gosh, that keeps on happening. It's fine if that block stays in there. It's just going to despawn after five minutes. Okay. Um, I don't know why there's only one headlight there. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. It's like, why they just put one headlight? And then take stone bricks there, let's put it here. 
I don't know why it's different. It's like almost like safety tread almost. Which is really kind of weird to me. I don't know why, but stupid headphone cord. Okay, this is what it should look like then here. Okay, get out carpet and get out that. And then do the same thing here. Okay, then you're gonna want to take out red terracotta, and then you're gonna want to skip three, and you're gonna go two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That will also say Union Pacific. I was gonna do it every other block, but then it just started to look weird. So I'm like, eh, why don't I just all put it into one? Like this. that now I don't know why wait a minute six and six oh okay I did this wrong it's supposed to be six and six I'm sorry guys Hang on a minute. Here, you guys get what I meant about the whole six thing. Okay, just something about croc plays. Like I lost a bet. Yeah, I think this is it. I probably forgot something. It's fine if I forgot something. Actually, did I actually forget something? Now, okay, this is actually the entire completed thing. So, I actually saved a lot of time. I didn't have to build each one of these cars, but I was able to get them done. Now, finally. So now, you actually have tenders to put behind your three steamers, which really... I actually do have enough. Really, if you build all three of these, you could put each one of these behind. You could put like this one behind that one, that one behind that one, that one behind that one. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, peace out. Check in for another another one. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll be uploading more. See you.